This is Absolute Drinks with Rico. I'm Rico, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Absolute Vodka Collins. There is an age-old discussion. What is the correct garnish for a Vodka Collins? Is it orange and a cherry? Is it lemon and a cherry? Let's just make them both and find out. We want to see your experimentation at home. Put your drinks and all your experiments up onto your social media and tag at Absolute Vodka and hashtag at Absolute Drinks for your chance to be featured on AbsoluteDrinks.com. So we're going to be making two drinks. So I've got my two glasses here. I'm actually going to shake my Collins. You don't have to shake your Collins, but for me, I prefer the texture of a shaken drink. But as I said, we're going to make two. So I've got two tins right here. Always start with your cheapest ingredient first. So we're going to go with our lemons and we're going to want 30 ml of lemon juice per drink. Nice, a perfect 30. Next up, we want to take our sugar syrup and we're going to want 20 ml per drink. 20 ml going straight in. Next up, the star of the show, Absolute Original Vodka. If you want to make your own variation, please experiment at home. Try it with any of our flavors. Make a Citron Collins, make a Raspberry Collins, even try and make a Vanilla Collins. If you like it, it's your drink, you drink it. But today we're going to make the original, so we're going to go 45 ml of Absolute Original. Mm -mm. Next up, we're going to ice these up, and as you know, ice the bottom of your shaker as much as possible. If you're wondering why you want to add your ice after the ingredients because otherwise your ice will melt and we don't want it melting yet we want to keep the control of the dilution to us which happens in the shaker when we shake just so you guys know as well one shaker will do two drinks i just wanted to double shake both of these that's all we only need to shake these a little bit till they're really cold and you can tell when they're cold because your shake will start to frost up. Get our glasses. Now we're gonna ice these glasses up to the maximum. And then pour directly into the glass. Absolutely no need to do any form of fine straining. We're putting this into a glass filled with cubed ice. It's gonna be a sipping drink, it's gonna dilute over time. But if as long as you put the right amount of ice in, which is a lot, then your drink will still stay cold. Go straight in. First thing you're probably gonna notice. These wash lines are a little bit different. That doesn't mean there's any more or less in these glasses. It's just basic physics, guys. It's just that the ice in this glass is sinking a little bit more down into the glass, making the liquid rise up, but it's exactly the same amount. So last thing to do, add your favorite soda water all the way to the top. And there we go. Gonna add one more little bit of ice in here. I'm gonna add my straws straight away. We're gonna do a couple of lemon slices. This wheel is really big. So we're gonna chop that into two little slices. Also gonna take our orange. As you can see, the orange is also huge. We don't really want to wheel. Those two little orange slices, we're gonna stick them right into the drink like so. Just like this. And then we're just gonna add a little cherry. There we have it, guys. The Vodka Collins. Now let's see which one tastes better. Banging, banging. Also banging, very banging. The main difference you're gonna get here is the aroma while you drink it. So whether you like orange or lemon, honestly, I don't care. And there shouldn't really be rules like that. If you wanna stick grapefruit in it, stick grapefruit in it. As long as you make a good Vodka Collins, I'm happy with whatever garnish you have. And whatever garnish you like, you should be happy with that. This is your drinks, not mine. I'm just giving you guidelines. These are banging, guys. How many times can I say banging before banging gets cut? 